Well, the talks are now over. There has been agreement to meet again at the end of January in Istanbul. Joining me live here in Geneva is the man who uh, helped negotiate for the Iranians, uh, Dr. Saeed Jalili. Thank you very much for joining us here on Al Jazeera, Doctor. Can you please tell us what is Iran, Iran's position on these talks? You have talked about cooperation. You will be meeting again at the end of January in Istanbul. Were you pleased with how these talks went? In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful, the talks we completed today in Geneva with the six countries, we basically talked about the utilization of capacities, the capacities of the seven countries to move towards joint cooperation, the cooperation as required by all states. There was some disagreement uh, between yourselves and Catherine Ashton about what these talks have achieved. You haven't spoken in 14 months. Why has it taken so long to get Iran back to the negotiating table? Well, I have said earlier that what was agreed before the talks and during the talks was to organize talks based on common ground, nothing else. As long as they remain true to the agreement reached in the meeting, we can continue with the talks. Looking at Iran right now, four rounds of UN sanctions. EU sanctions, bilateral action by Japan, South Korea, lots of countries. Ordinary Iranians are suffering because of these sanctions. Is Iran going to change its position? Well, you know well that today in Iran we are organizing one of the largest economic reform schemes. I use the word surgery to start such a major economic scheme or economic surgery is based on the huge economic and political capabilities that exist right now inside Iran. As you said earlier, they have taken certain action and these are based on miscalculations and misinformation. They were thinking that through the sanctions they can can prevent Iran from developing. Today, they see for themselves that Iran is stronger than before. It is forging ahead, moving ahead in economic even, fields. Even China and Russia uh, voted, agreed with the last round of sanctions in June. China and Russia, supposedly Iran's allies. Yes, makes no difference. My point is, what has happened in the context of the sanctions? Today they saw for themselves that sanctions cannot prevent the development of the Islamic Republic of Iran. The Islamic Republic of Iran today is stronger than any time before in economic fields, in other fields, and actually the world today is asking this question. People are contacting their congressmen and officials why have they sanctioned Iran and they have robbed various companies access to Iranian market and the opportunity to work in Iran. You are very close to uh, the Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei. Uh, you will be taking messages directly back to him. One question I want to ask you about is... Mr. Ali, you have a very close relationship with the government and you have been able to talk to the government of the government. We've heard in London that uh, Julian Assange has been arrested, the founder of WikiLeaks, and there have been some serious revelations to do with Iran and about Arab allies of the Americans calling for an attack on Iran. Surely the Iranians must be concerned about these revelations. What? Well, I referred to this in the press conference. Our relations with our neighbors and friends is a historic, deeply rooted, friendly and comprehensive relations. We are not talking about a set of relations, relations rather, which can be adversely affected through some mischief. How seriously do you take these threats. The Americans have not ruled out a military option with Iran, and we're, we're hearing rhetoric, uh, tough rhetoric from the Israelis almost on a weekly basis. How seriously does Iran take this threat? 
آیا خ... ما هر هفته میشنویم که آمریکا ایران رو تهدید میکنه شما چقدر جدی میگیرید این قطر را این تهدیدات را در حد دمی خنده که well I'm just laughing at it it's laughable so you don't take it seriously at all پس شما اصلا جدی نمیگیرید Well, the Americans and those who from the first days of the Islamic revolution in Iran didn't want to see it happen, but it happened regardless. They have taken a lot of action to prevent the revolution and the reality imposed itself. A good example would be what you said earlier, they imposed sanctions on Iran to pressure us, but today you see they have no options before them but to negotiate. They sit behind the table of negotiations and they are anxious to negotiate. Thank you very much for joining us here on Al Jazeera.